one thing I want to establish here is the fact that God respects and honors the uh, freedom of choice that He has given to all intelligent beings, <coughs> be moral agents. So He will not force anybody into doing anything that they don't want to do, serving Him. Now, when you have somebody that is enslaved by a, a cult or something, the only thing that I found that works because I have many people writing to me all the time about these solutions and a lot of them are being uh, resolved all the time. Uh, we get, must get about a dozen letters a month uh, out of about 300 uh, that uh, are involved, cases that are involved with the deep spiritism, uh, children and grandchildren. And uh, the only thing that we can do that will help these people is to pray that their sins be forgiven them and for the Lord to appropriate to them the benefits of his sacred divine bloodshed of Calvary for their salvation. Now you see that price has been paid. Okay? So you're not asking for something that the Lord will do uh, other than what he has promised that he will do for everybody. Right? I wanted to know what he knew and why his prayers were so powerful. You know, it's like a drown, drowning man. He does not, uh, he does not how to uh, swim. It's too late to show him how to swim huh? when he's when he's going under. So you jump in there and risk your water. Same thing with with uh, people involved in spiritism. You pray every day for that person that God will forgive that person's iniquities and sins, and then you pray to appropriate to them the medicine, the sacred blood of Christ, and one more thing. Lord, I pray that by your Holy Spirit, you will surround this person with a heavenly atmosphere of light and peace. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why it says that the, the power is promised. Mm -hmm. She testimonies volume eight, and she says, uh, God does not ask us to do in our own strength the work before us. Right. He has made divine provision for all emergencies to which our human resources are unequal. He gives the Holy Spirit to help in every strength, yeah. to strengthen our hope and assurance, to eliminate our minds, and purify our hearts. And I could quote over that stuff here. Now, what the Lord wants to do for us, He wants to do for those that we love. And that we want to help. Yeah. And, and it, it, I'll put a bit more of this thing. That's a volume 8 of Testimonies, page 19. And the servant of the Lord says, Christ has made provision that his church shall be a transformed body, illumined with the light of heaven, possessing the glory of a man. It is his purpose that every Christian shall be surrounded with a glorious heavenly atmosphere of light and peace. Okay? If that shall be dedicated to God, you know, 30 years ago, you want to ask the Lord to please forgive this person's iniquities and sins, uh, and to appropriate to him the medicine of his sacred divine blood, and to surround him with a glorious heavenly atmosphere of light and peace, so that the person may be in a position now to make an intelligent decision for his or her eternal well-being and all, all, the, all of the surroundings may be right in the middle of, you know, a great praise session to the gods, as you call it, a praise session to the gods. Uh, the Spirit of God is able to be there and surround that person, okay? Amen. But the high priest used to say that, you know, entertainers in years past, they, they would uh, they consecrate the grounds or the theater or whatever building that they were operating in, and uh, they would actually uh, circle the, the, the place three times in one day or one once a day for three days before they uh, entertain people there, and they would ask for the spirits to possess, possess the audience, you see. And uh, the high priest said, somebody asked, what about Christians? And the high priest said, well, yes, there's something coming. But I'll tell you what, the angel of our rival cannot make a there in our midst. But I must admit that the spirit 
of the Creator God can be there surrounding that person. So if your curses and all that you want to bring upon these people don't work, he says, it happens to be that somebody is asking for special help. And he says, there's not too many people that pray that way for others. So don't worry about it. 